So, you want to play a console on the move, but you only want to play in the dark and you only want to stand 12 inches from a wall. I have the console for you. Welcome to the Pocket Legion. I am Chris, aka Plastic, and today we're going to be taking a look at the poorly conceived mess that is the projector screen game. So, from China, here is the projector screen game. Um, the box is entirely covered in Chinese writing, which is gonna make this a little bit difficult deciphering some of this stuff, but let's see what we can do. Um, it's from YSN. The future will be enjoyable, it says in tiny letters underneath there. Well, maybe it would be if you hadn't made this so awkward to use. Uh, it comes with racing game and soccer game. Hold back your excitement. Um, now, I'm going to have a guess that this is kind of alluding to it being maybe 66 centimetres or inches across the screen that it projects. I can tell you right now that in itself is a massive lie. Um, check out those in-game graphics. Actually, it's quite nice for a change for a box like this not to have like crazy manga anime screen stolen from all over the internet, plastered all over it, but you know. Um, here is the game itself, somebody playing football. Little control layout, batteries. Kind of unusually, it takes three batteries. There's a spot for a fourth, but it's blocked out with plastic. Um, warnings. Okay, and some actual graphics. I mean, I suppose at least they're uh, they're trying to set expectations with the horror that you're going to experience trying to play this. Okay, and Screen Game Plus. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the plus is in this. Let's see what we get. Okay, pretty bare bones. Cardboard box. Instructions. So... Yep, controls and battery layout. Racing game. It's like pretty standard old school LCD racing game, soccer game. Okay, nothing in the back. Junk. Okay, let's have a look at this guy. There's nothing else in there either. So. Plastic is thin, uh, has a little belt loop in there, um, off loudness of audio. This is the actual projector itself. Okay, I think that's the focusing dial there. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny, they seem, to have, they seem to have actually replicated like a miniature a TV projector that you might have hanging on the ceiling. These are like would usually be the fans at the front, but they're not. So a B, I don't know what that is. Um, battery compartment. Oh, it actually has a CE mark. That's hilarious. Two thousand and nine. All rights reserved. Rating DC five volts. Battery it says six AAs, but it only takes three. Okay, projector game with two offs and ons, which actually I suppose is, is fairly uh, useful in the case of this console because you have to turn it on in two places. There's the on off button and there's the on off button as well. So there we go. Right, let's play a video game. I'll just turn that on so you can see the projectors come on. Let's have a standy, handy makeshift wall. Ready to check this out. Just think of the logistics of this as well. You want to play a, play a game, so you just pop this out of your bag and you have to really stand really, really close to anything. So, it's like I say, it has two on and off marks for a reason. So if you turn this one on, I think this is the brightness of the projector and the brightness of the audio, or the loudness of the audio, brightness of audio. Okay, pull this back a little bit. And so now let's turn this on. Oh, we are straight into race car driving here. 
Oh, this is demo mode. Okay, let's. Uh, so I'm going to use the little nodule here to. Uh, I'm going to use this little dial here to uh, focus it. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing a great deal either. Okay, right, let's hit the start one. We're going. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty standard fare. It actually has corners, at least something. Um, yeah, I mean, the problem with a lot of these games is they're kind of difficult to interpret what's going on anyway, but when you're projecting it and it's kind of faint and it's moving around because you're moving around as well, yeah, it's kind of, kind of useless. Um, okay, let's change the game up. And just like that, we are we are playing football. We are racing. Now we're playing football. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, there we go. It started. I mean, the buttons themselves feel entirely impractical. I, I can't really tell what's going on. I don't know if you guys can, you're obviously looking at this through a viewfinder, it's a mess. I just lost, I think. It's one nil. Right, okay. Let's turn that off so nobody can ever play with it ever again. Project the game. It's time for you to be judged. Project the game. It is time to go in the pocket of judgment. Okay. Yeah, you fit pretty good. But for your poor quality plastic, your terrible buttons, and your lack of use outdoors, you're gonna get a rating of not for the beach. This week's game is Walking Mars. Discover aliens, intrigue, and oddities. Please click this link here and click subscribe and thanks for liking and sharing uh, i love hearing all your comments and please leave a message let us know what you want to review next week thanks for watching